There's a, a guy that uh, uh, was blind. I read the stories now about the blind guys. I'm like, these are my people. He, he was blind, and, and Jesus spit into some dirt and put it in his eyes, and he says, what do you see? And, and you know what? The guy leveled with Jesus. He said, you know what? I see people, but they look like trees. Man, if Jesus did something to heal my eyesight and, and it didn't work, I, I'd lie to him. <laughs> Literally, I wouldn't want him to look bad. But you know what? Jesus didn't have a miracle that misfired. What he wanted to know, I bet you, is can you get real enough with me to say I'm not fixed yet? And you know what? Because that guy got real with Jesus, Jesus touched him again. And I think one of the things that we might need as a community of faith is a second touch. Maybe you need a second touch. And it isn't about just saying a big prayer. It's get leveling with Jesus, getting real with some of the people you're with in, in your small group, and then just saying, you know, honestly, I need a second touch from God. And I, and I think what happens is we end up seeing more. One of the men that came out on this stage with me is a good friend of mine. His name is Lex. And Lex lost his sight in both eyes when he was eight years old. But by the time he got to college, you know what he figured out? He could run like the wind. So you know what Lex did? He went out for the track team. Now that seems like a bad idea to me, but do you know what Lex has? He's got a friend. And his friend runs in front of him and calls his name. You know what, on our last day here on earth, you and I, we're gonna have room for about eight people around our bed, nine if they're thin. And I figured out who my eight people are and I've sent them all text messages. I said, you're one of the eight. They're like, what's that mean? I'm like, don't worry about it. But if you don't have eight friends, go find six. Do you know four fruit trees is just a bunch of fruit trees, but five fruit trees is an orchard? <laughs> who comes up with this stuff? Probably a lawyer like me who needs a tax break. Go find an orchard full of friends. And if you can't find five friends, you go find one friend that you can really level with to say, I need a second touch from God. And I'll tell you, beautiful things will start unfolding. You'll move off the recital stage and into community. You'll get real with each other. You'll understand that failure is what God uses to remind us of our tremendous need for Him. Well, Lex, turns out could run pretty fast, but he could also jump pretty long. And he had to pick an event. And you know the event he picked in the track and field? The long jump. Now that seems like a really, really bad idea. You run down a two and a half foot wide path for 110 feet, six inches. You jump off a board you can't see and throw your body towards a sand pit as far as you can. It seems impossible. Do you know what Lex has? He's got a friend. And his friend stands at the edge of the sand pit and calls his name, Lex, 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 Lex. And Lex just runs towards a voice he can trust. Well, Lex was evidently pretty good at the long jump. Do you know why? He went out for the United States Olympic team and he made it. <laughs> Is that crazy? He literally went to Rio representing us. In the run up to the Olympics, there's an event called the World Games. And Lex was there with his friend. His friend stood at the edge of the sand pit and started calling Lex's name. And Lex ran as fast as he could. He jumped huge, but because Lex is blind, he doesn't always run in a straight line. And he was crooked when he took off and he missed the sand pit completely. And he crashed and burned on the concrete. Man, that's happened to you. That's happened to me. We jumped big for something that we wanted bad and, and we crashed and burned. I would be tempted if I was Lex to bail on the whole thing. I'd just say, I'm out. I jumped huge. I hit hard. I'm out. But you know what Lex has? He's got a friend. And his friend got him a new uni because he was mooning everybody. And, and he walked him back 110 feet, six inches, squared up his shoulders to the sand pit, went over there and started calling his name again. Lex. Lex, 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 straight, straight, straight. Lex uncorks the biggest jump of his life. Set the record, gold medal. You guys, I want us to jump further because we've fallen before. Not to hold back, not to be afraid, not to play it safe, but to just 
jump big. And if we do that, if we're willing to jump big into to the future that God has for us, notwithstanding the times that we've fallen in the past, if we're willing to catch people on the bounce, to find people that are creeping us out and engage them with love, do you know what? People will see Jesus. They'll look right through us. It's crazy. I'm a lawyer. I, I keep secrets for a living. And so when I come home at the end of the day, I can't tell Maria how my day was because I got to just keep it to myself. But you know what? We got one of these in our living room. And so what I do is I'll sit down at the piano and I'll just play for her how my day was. If it was a really great day, I'll be on the white keys. This could be kind of cheery. If it was kind of like an awkward, kind of sad day, I might be in the minor notes. And if it was a really bad day, I'll just bang all the keys. <laughs> and you know what she'll say to me every time? Tell me more about your day. And I think that's what Jesus says to us. Tell me more. Get real with me about where you really are at. He wants us to play our song. He doesn't need it to be a recital. Don't do it for the applause. Get real, get real enough with the people that are around you. You don't have eight, go find one or two that you can just say, I need a second touch. And there's something beautiful that'll happen in you. You'll start realizing more about who God is turning you into. Not somebody standing on the corner with all the mistakes that you've made, but seeing who you're becoming. All right, you guys, thanks a million. And what a great time to share a couple stories with each other now.